welcome to the final day of the build so in this video we will be designing the final screen that is the order data screen so in the previous videos we went and designed the home screen the navigation part that is how to navigate between different screens and the add to cart functionality the remove from cart functionality and in the cart screen we also render different cart items that are present inside our cart so in this video we will create the final screen which contains the map and uh, two basic informations so yeah let's get started so first let me uh, move on to my screens folder and create a new screen uh, called as order data screen order data.js and then rnfps to get the shorthand snippet then save the file now let us uh, initialize our screen inside our stack navigator so over here uh, stack dot screen yeah so name is going to be order yeah and component is going to be order screen and the options over here we will give it as header shown and set it to be false so let's import our uh, order screen from no it, it's not order screen it is order data yeah so let's import it uh, from our screens folder and then uh, close this one and then save the file yeah so now as i add my items to the cart and then move on to the next screen yeah so over here as i press the place order button i should be taken to the next screen so let's go to our cart screen and let's first initialize our navigation over here so cons navigation equals to use navigation and let's also import it from react native slash uh, react navigation slash native so where we have the pressable button that is the place order there we will provide a on press event over here so let's write on press stakes function we are going to write navigation dot navigate over here we will pass the name of the screen we want to navigate to so if you go to our stack navigator the name we provided is called as order so let us pass order over here so order and save the file yeah uh, as we press the place order button we need to do two things so the first thing is we, we have to navigate and the second thing we have to do is we need to set our card to be zero that is zero items so that we should not see these items being present which makes sense right so let us uh, make this function at the top so let's write place order and let's define it at the top over here yeah, so const place order equals to over here the first thing is navigation dot navigate to our order and next thing we do is we set our card to be just an empty array so that there are no items present in our cart all right and save the file yeah so if i uh, uh, move to the next screen this part will be gone okay uh, then what is going to happen let's check that out okay so place order yeah we are going to the next screen we can see that coming that is order data at the top of the screen so let's go to our order data uh, and then we will make use of a safe area view oh come on so let's import it as well from react native yeah so now if i move back to the previous screen you can see that uh, people also added that component is coming as well as the bottom part is coming all right so we need to handle that now so let's make use of conditional rendering let's go to our card screen so we will make use of the total and then we will render it all right so we have the total being calculated here so at the bottom where we are rendering this design that is the two texts with the icon yeah i think over here we will write a condition so if our total equals equals to zero 
come on we are going to render something else we will render for image okay which says our uh, our cart is empty okay so if our total equals equals to zero we will render the image because there are no items present in the cart so i have the design with me let me just copy that and i'll explain what is happening yeah so if our total equals equals to zero we will show this design else we'll just copy the view until here and then we will pretty much show that if we have items in our cart uh, pressable is imported yeah so now let me run the application from the beginning and then check it out okay okay so save the file first so let's add some items to our cart and let us move to our cart screen yeah so now if i press the place order button we should be okay so actually even this also is appearing right so let's write the condition for that too and then let us check it so i think that is present inside a scroll view yeah that is over here so if and only if the total equals equals to zero Okay, uh, if uh, if we do this, I think we we will get a, a double image. I don't think that's necessary. First, let's try this and give it a check. Okay, so let's me uh, press and place order. Yeah, we are going into the order data screen. But if we come back, yeah, as you can see, the card is completely empty. And we have that image to come in. I think that's working absolutely fine, right? So let's do it from the start. So let me add some items, then go to the cart. Yeah, I think only one condition is working. Okay, so what I thought was like for this also, if we provide the condition, then we are of, of course going to get a double image of that cart as empty. Okay, so I don't think that's required. I think only this condition is enough. That is if the total equals equals to zero, we will say the cart is empty. Okay, and then yeah, the styling for that is this thing. It has a margin bottom of auto, margin top of auto, and then align items of center, and justify center, and a height of hundred percentage. And it also contains the image and the text says a uh, text which says card is empty. So for the image, we have a width of two fifty, a height of two uh, six hundred, and then the resize mode of contain. Okay, so if the total is more than zero, that is if the uh, if the card has at least a single item present, we will be showing this thing that is delivering to home and then pay the correct amount of total so if i press and place order yeah we are going into the order data screen so inside our order data we will just start designing the uh map as well as these two basic information so let's get started uh, over here uh let's give a background color with the pizza color and then flex of one so for this color i think it is present in our home screen okay so let me check that first i think it should be present here or it's present inside a component maybe yeah this is the color so let's copy that and then over here let's paste it yeah so you're getting the color blue so fine here let us make use of the text not the text the view yeah so this contains like two texts so this one it says order has been place it's been accepted the second text which goes like arriving in 30 minutes okay so save the file 30 minutes yeah so for the view 
or let's give it a background color of white and a bit of margin also a bit of border radius and some internal padding that is a space in, on the inside of the container so save yeah and let us give a uh, text align of center so that the text aligns itself to the center yeah same thing we will give over here as well fine so let's increase the font size and the font weight over here over here let's increase the font size to be 15 all right so next we will uh, now do the map design that is we need to first install the dependency so let's install it so let's just do yarn add react native maps so open up a new terminal and then yarn add react native maps all right yeah so until this installs let's just go copy the boilerplate code okay so first let us initialize a view and then we will put our map inside that over here we'll initialize the view and then we will just copy the map view code from here So we will take the uh, default latitude and longitude that they've given and then let us also import it from React Native Maps. Yeah, all right, so after this, we, we will also need a marker. Okay, so let's initialize that as well. So this is not a self enclosing tag because we need to add the marker. So let's import marker from react native maps. Yeah, I think both are imported. So over here, this takes something called as coordinate, which includes latitude and then longitude. We'll provide the same uh, data that they've given that is latitude of this value and then longitude of this value so that we can see the marker appearing. So for the view, let's give a bit of styling that is line item center then a justify content of center yeah uh, i think for the map let us give it a bit of height and width let's say height of 500 and a width of uh, let's say 400 all right so save the file so now let us give it a try. Let's delete this term that's not needed. Yeah, so let's give it a try again. So add to cart, regular add to cart. Now go to cart. Yeah, now if I press on the place order button, hopefully the map should be displayed. No, we are not getting the map. Why is that happening? Save the file. Let's see what is happening over here. Okay, marker contains the coordinate, latitude and longitude. And I think the height should be given to the view or the map view, I'm not sure. Let's comment it out. Let's give the width and height over here. So 500 and then a height of 600 safe no it's still not appearing it's still not working okay so let's try likes of one no still not showing up Let's do one thing. Let us refresh our application and start it from the beginning. Hopefully it should work this time. So 
to the first one add some items to the cart go to the cart and then place order yes we are able to see something but that is not the exact map isn't it wait let's see what is happening okay 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 but okay since we are putting it inside that view i think that's not the right way right so let us uh, remove this one because we are putting it inside this view it's taking that background color of white so let's just put it after the view then save the file but it's still not showing okay so let's check if this works yes absolutely coming yeah but as you can see it's coming towards the right side it's not actually fitting it up so let's give a bit of 500 yeah it's almost fitting that's nice i think we can remove this one that's not required yeah absolutely nice okay so now this is the map uh after this we will render this basic design so i have the code for that already i think this one is pre uh, pretty much from my previous application so yeah just after this view we'll paste it here yeah uh, let's import the required things that is the image and yeah, let's see what is happening over here so this contains a uh, out of view that is this one and the style for this is this one that is padding of 10 the basic styling that is flex direction align items and a background color of white uh, with a bit of margin margin top and then the border radius it contains the image with the width of width, with the width and height of 60 and then a bit of border radius too with the border color and the border width so next it contains a view uh, with basic two texts that is this one yeah so i think let me save the file yeah so you can see that design coming up all right so if i try to go back to the screen we will be seeing the cart is empty yeah so as you can see that's the design pretty much so i think we are pretty much done with this application with the final screen too yeah i think yes we are done so thank you for watching let's see you in the next project